Welcome, you are watching the Explosive Exclusive. I'm Padmija Joshi. The 22nd of January, of course, is the consecration of the Ram Mandir, but it wouldn't have been possible without two things. The evidence of the presence of a temple at the spot where the disputed structure had stood, and of course, the judgment from the Supreme Court. But what into finding, what went into finding that piece of evidence? It was years and years of painstaking work Despite the kind of resistance that the Archaeological Survey of India was met with, especially of the political kind. But if there's one name that stands out when it comes to finding the evidence of Ram and a Ram temple there, it is Mr. K.K. Muhammad. He doesn't need any introduction. But at this point, it is also a personal victory, a personal vindication for him, Mr. Muhammad. Thanks very much for speaking to us. I'll obviously start by asking you, what is the archaeological perspective for you for the 22nd of January? Yes, I do think it because, you know, it is the victory of the truth. Because, you know, there was a, especially, we had to face a lot of questions, a lot of problems on the Marxist historians of JNU and Aligarh University. So their propaganda missionary was very good and it was very well oiled also. And for the first time in the case of Ram Janam Bhumi, that myth has been shattered. So this is a great day for all of us, not only for the Ram Bhaktas, but even for those people who stand for the truth and for archaeological truth. Very interesting. You, spoke of, you speak of motivated historians specifically from AMU and Jawaharlal Nehru University. But before we speak about them in detail, take us back